the blues. The blues is where all rock, pop, R&B, Motown, and hip-hop music comes from. The blues came from the deep south of the U.S., originating from African music and American folk song. Pretty much everyone loves the blues, and we're going to learn a little blues tune now. It's called Rockin' Out the Blues. Just like in the Ode to Joy, we're going to focus today on a hard part in the middle. We're going to look at bars 9 and 10. You might notice some very small notes in there. Those are called grace notes, and they're a type of ornament that we use in music. And what it is, is that the grace note is a very quick note leading to the next note. For an example, here's bars 9 and 10. So you hear, I'm playing two notes very close together. The first note being the grace note leading to the main note, which is the regular quarter note. So the way I would go about practicing this is starting with just the main note. In this case, that's an A. Remember this little teardrop key up here? So we're going to start with just that single note, playing the rhythm on the page without the grace notes. So that makes it much easier to deal with when you're first learning this piece. Now to add in the grace notes, which in this case are all open Gs, we're quickly going from open G to A. And we do this six times in these two bars. So let's give that a try. Might take a little bit of practice getting the coordination there, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too difficult. Now, let's take a look at the first two bars. So we're only using three different notes. We're just going back and forth between them. Starting on the D, down to the C, back to the D, up to the F, which is just the thumb, back down to the C, and up to the D. Let's try it once again. Now, those two bars are repeated for the next two bars. And then they are repeated again in bars 7 and 8. And then again at the end of the piece. So, if we learn the first two bars, we've learned several of the other bars. Let's take a look now at bars 5 and 6. We've got open G's, the thumb F, and a D to finish things off. All right, so when you feel comfortable having practiced all those little segments, we can start to piece it together. Now, Again, it might feel like it takes a lot of time to practice this when we take it apart, but that's how professional musicians practice too. It's a great way to learn music, and you don't have to try to learn the whole thing all at once, which is sometimes a little daunting. So, now that we've had a chance to 
take a look at each couple bars individually. Let's put it together now. And that's rocking out the blues. <laughs> 